Man, today we have so many things to talk about. So, so many things to talk about. First things first, today we have community day for an entire week. Entire week. We're gonna have like all the past community day Pokemon spawning in the wild. So today we're gonna go out and try to hunt as many possible. I do have all of them except for Pikachu, which apparently was the first community Pokemon that has Surf that I do not have. So priority, shiny Pikachu with Surf. Second thing. Niantic just announced something brand new and so exciting everyone is gonna be like you know PvP is out so PvP if you don't know what it stands for it's player versus player and that basically me versus you or in some sense me versus someone online I don't know how it's gonna work maybe it's gonna be like trading you know you have to be within 100 meters and then like you send out a signal saying hey guys I'm gonna PvP you wanna join me and then someone will just join and blah blah why did I just say blah I don't know how it's gonna work but we're gonna talk more about it later on another thing so, as you can see, I have this table, right? This table sucks. It has drawers, which sucks because it always hit my knee. It's gonna go away. So, we're gonna go for a makeover, right? We're gonna change this table. We're gonna change it into something more, how to say, vlogging slash editing slash gaming kind of table. You get what I mean? Yeah, so lots of changes. And also, and last thing, this lens right here you're seeing, I'm gonna change it because I'm tired of this kit lens zoom which is a bit sucky, you know? I'm gonna get like the 10 to 18 millimeter Canon unless you guys have a better solution that is meant for vlogging. So when I take it out like that, it's not so zoomed in. Instead, it's more like wide angle kind of crap. Yes, that is our main goal. All right, so lots of things to do today. Very excited. Let's head out now. Look, it's Ash from Palette. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the spawns for today. We have a Beldum, a Dratini, a Charmander, and a Laritar, which I actually like all of them. Dratini is not a shiny. Charmander, not a shiny. Well, it doesn't matter because catching all these Pokemons are actually really good for your candy if you don't have it yet. And you know, evolving them during this entire two, three days and stuff, it's really good because they will have all their exclusive moves. The only downside I realized is that Squirtle does not come with sunglasses anymore. Yeah, that's the one thing I heard of. <sighs> okay, while we are going to be hunting for more shiny Pokemons, today is a little bit of a tight schedule and we are going to be battling one Cresselia first because someone doesn't have one yet. Ash Ketchum doesn't have a Cresselia. But then again, Ash Ketchum doesn't have a lot of shit, so I don't know what we're talking about. Ash Ketchum doesn't even have a Pidgey. Think about that for a second. It's a very hot day today. 1573. Oh my god, this is a terrible IV. On. She got it. Look at that. Hi guys. I have to pay a parking ticket. <gasps> she just ripped her parking ticket. <laughs> well done. She has a parking summons that she needs to pay and she accidentally ripped it. But I am a good citizen and I'm gonna go pay now. Is it new? I don't know, I can't tell. Is this the new uh, spinda? The floor is wet. Mm -hmm. I was like, something feels wrong. But yeah, we have a new spinda here. Looks like a new spinda. I cannot tell. Ah, uh, sorry guys. It seems like it's an old spinda. Number seven. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Okay, so how are you going to pay your summer? Um, scan barcode. Always pay your ticket, guys. <laughs> here, more than this. Okay, account number does not exist. Okay. They won't even take my payment. Okay, we have a Squirtle here. Not a shiny. One thing we want to do today, right now, I mean, while this entire event thing is going on, is that we're going to get a Meltan. So, a few days ago, one of my Let's Go videos, right, I already got a mystery box for Meltan. And let's open it right now. So, here we go. We have a mystery box right here. Oh my god, I already applied this type of enhancement. Oh my god, that means... Oh shit! That means if you put incense, you cannot get a Meltan. Oh my god. This is terrible. Slowly. Can I delete this incense? 
Shit, I did not know. Ah, I gotta wait for 30 minutes. <sighs> In the meantime, while we're waiting for like new Pokemons and stuff that to appear, right? Let's talk about the new feature that is coming out in Pokemon Go, PvP. So, the one problem I realized about this whole entire situation is that until they do a battle, battle rework, there is no way we can do PvP. Because imagine this, let's say I battle you, right? All we're going to be doing is tap, 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 swipe. Tap, 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 swipe. Tap, 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 swipe. You know, that sounded very weird. But, oh, hold on, there's a Marie here. No! But yeah, I think we really need a battle rework. Seriously. Without a battle rework, there is no way in hell and shit there is ants on me. Okay, I am okay. not, I'm not sitting here because This is scary. Ants. Okay, let's, I'll... If I die from this ant bite, right, just know that I tried to do it for you guys. As I was saying, right, I think one of the enhancements that I think that sh Niantic should do and probably will do when PvP comes out is that go there's going to be a new battle rework where there's going to be abilities. So Pokemon that uses like Wonder Guard, like Shininja, right? You cannot use that for PvP. It doesn't work because if you use it in PvP, you just battle it once and it dies. Like one hit and dies. And the ant bite just now is killing me right now. Okay, ants are everywhere. They're attacking people. And we're dying. We're dying, man. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that Niantic actually tweeted out, right? So for the sneak peek into the trainer battles, right, which is PvP, coming with trainer battle is an introduction of three Pokemon Go trainer battle leagues. So that's Great, Ultra, and Master. So Great will limit their CP to 1,500. Uh, Ultra is 2,500 and Master is unlimited. The more exciting one is the Great and Ultra because if you do like Master, which is unlimited CP, whatever, battle, right? It's a bit unfair to say the least because a lot of people, newcomers, will not be able to battle like mainly to spoofers. Yes, spoofers who has a lot of candies and a lot of like Snorlax, a lot of Dragonites, whatever, they're gonna win in this Master League. But I think Great and Ultra League is the one that you want to battle in. Okay, so here's another tweet about them. While Pokemon with high CP might be a big advantage in Master League, trainer will have to think more strategically when battling the Great and Ultra League where there are specific CP limitations, which is what I just said just now. So like Great League here, max CP per Pokemon is 1,500 and yeah, you can choose like a couple of great teams. You can choose great teams. Ultra League, you can choose up to 2,500 CP. And I think Master League is like anything you want. So it's nice to see these kind of screenshots here. But overall, I'm not quite sure if I want to be too hyped up about this whole entire PvP thing because who knows, it might suck, it might not. We'll see in time. I am still itchy from the end bite and I need to find a shiny Pokemon and it's really hot today. <laughs> ah, shiny Pokemon, where are you? <laughs> if somehow Niantic allow us to battle each other online, meaning that we don't need to meet within 100 meters, right? Leave in the comment section who wants to battle me and see me lose. <laughs> I think I'm most likely lose because I'm not really good at this battling stuff anyway. It's starting to rain already guys we and, we and we haven't even found our shiny yet today unfortunately. There are shinies everywhere but you know with everything spread out and I don't know if they even increased the shiny rate for today. We're not having much luck unfortunately. It's okay because you know why we already caught all of them except for that Pikachu with Surf. So I'm not really worried to be honest. Not very worried at all. I do want to get my Meltan which I will do a little bit later. Not now. Now I gotta go find a table so we're going into a home depot area and look for tables in about four days time my entire table had to be demolished and i gotta find a replacement table immediately so lots to do Unfortunately, the first shop doesn't really have what we need and you know how when you go to a shop, salesperson kept following you around like every single corner, like doesn't give you any space for like you to even gonna check, you know? Shoplift yeah, 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 it's like they, I don't know, they're like so close, like no personal space and stuff. 
I feel very uncomfortable when I shop in these kind of situations and I would highly advise anybody who is a salesman that's watching this video, stop doing that. Give your customers some space because or else we're just going to leave the shop without buying anything because it's just so uncomfortable. I have failed you as a Pokemon Go trainer and I did try to hunt for one shiny in the last three hours. Three hours. Yeah, today I only had like three hours to play or less than that in fact because I was driving around and I had to find some furnitures for my table and also I had to call some people up regarding my new camera lens, you know. But Nevertheless, I was not able to find any shiny Pokemon. I will have to try again tomorrow. Just now, unfortunately, I was not able to open a mystery box, but now, let's do that. So, mystery box, here we go. Thirty minutes, so it is like an incense. And I assume Meltan is the only Pokemon that should spawn from this. Okay, here it is. Okay, so we have our first Meltan. Nice. So this is going to be our Pokedex Meltan. Every Meltan, you need to use a Pineapp Berry, mainly because you need 400 candies to evolve this guy into a Mel Mel Metal. I'm sure you guys already know that by now. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be my first Meltan, unfortunately. First Meltan in the Pokedex. Sweet. So I think I'm most likely going to be chilling out here uh, until the 30 minutes is up and catch as many Melton as I can. I do want to make an evolution video of Mel Metal and then transfer it into Let's Go Pikachu to use it in battle. Okay, so anyway, uh, I think I'll conclude today's episode. I know it's not much, but I do hope that you guys were able to find your shiny Pokemon. Let me know what you guys want to see in the PvP, the upcoming PvP, because um, quite frankly, I'm not sure what Ni when Niantic is going to release it, and I don't know what feature they're going to put in, but let me know your opinions on what you want to see in this PvP and I'll read them all. I'll see you guys in the next episode, hopefully tomorrow because it's community day for me. See you guys.